Welcome to the YD3 Show. I'm your host, Dave McHugh, and for those who don't know me, I'm the broadcast director for D3Sports.com and its network of websites, including D3 Football, D3 Hoops, D3 Hockey, and D3 Baseball, among others. I'm also the host of Hoopsville, the only show dedicated to Division III basketball in the entire world. We are starting a new venture in conjunction with the NCAA in hopes of bringing you the stories of Division III. The YD3 show will tackle lots of things, mainly off the fields and courts, talking about those student athletes who are not only excelling on the field, but also excelling in the classroom and excelling in their communities. Also talk to coaches and programs and athletics departments who are doing bigger and better things to provide better opportunities for their student athletes and better opportunities for their schools and communities. These are important stories and sometimes are the driving reason for why students come to Division III, the biggest division in the entire NCAA. We hope to tackle those stories and give you a point of view that you may not realize is going on. The entire YD3 movement. Why are student athletes choosing to come to Division III? And what are they giving back to that decision? What are they giving back to their schools and their communities? And of course, how are they doing with their teams. We won't necessarily talk about championships in field hockey or volleyball, basketball, football, baseball, softball, and uh, softball and all the rest of the sports out there, but we will talk about what is going on on those fields in terms of how these student athletes are interacting with each other and how they are making an impact in their world. There are many student athletes who have played in Division III who have gone on to do incredible things We'll also talk to some of those, a say where are they now type segment, and talk to those, an astronaut who graduated from Cornell maybe, a former senator from Maine who went to Bowdoin. Little items like that to give you an idea of why Division III is so important to those who take part in it, whether they are administrators, coaches, students, or even families, or those like ourselves who cover them on a daily basis. We'll also tackle the major issues surrounding Division III. Find out what is going to be voted on at the convention and how that will impact student athletes and, of course, the fans. We'll talk about what is, needs to be dealt with in the future years, like budgets, recruiting, and other items that will have a major impact on the experiences and the championships of Division III. We will talk to those who are up in the higher offices of the NCAA throughout the year. We'll also talk to those in different athletics departments. We are currently here at Stevenson University because I felt it was important to start this show at a Division III school, and Stevenson was rather t relatively close. However, you'll see the show a lot in our own studios as well, which also are the studios for Hoopsville. We'll also, when we have that opportunity, travel to get stories ourselves, and we hope that you, the, either the student, the uh, administrator, somebody in an athletics department or at a school, can share your stories with us. Use the hashtag YD3. Contact us and let us know what you think is an important story to cover. We're going to do this show once a month. It will not be live necessarily. We will pre-produce this show and, and release it at once a month, about the third week of every month, we hope. We realize this show is just a little bit late for September as we're about to start October. But we hope you get an opportunity to see these stories. We're not going to be able to tell every story that we get. We'll certainly try and tell quite a few. We'll also have some special shows, like in December when we travel down to Salem, Virginia for the football championships. The Gallardi Trophy is always given out two days before the championship game. We have aired it here on D3Sports.com and d3football.com for, for several years. We hope to take it to the next level by adding the YD3 moniker and talk about why it is so important and such a major award in Division III and really in the NCAA. So those are a lot of the topics that we'll cover monthly here on the YD3 show and we will do these monthly even in the summer. Because there's so many stories to talk about. And student athletes who then leave the field and over their summer breaks might go and make an impact in their communities or other communities around the world. And we'll talk about those stories throughout. Again, if you want to have stories to share with us, please do so. Email me and we'll put a graphic up at the bottom. Dave.McHugh at D3Sports.com is one easy way to do it. Of course, use the hashtag YD3, which many people use to this day anyway. Again, we call on you to tell us great stories of student-athletes, coaches, opponents, and the like, who may be making an impact not only on the fields and courts where they play, but of course as well in their communities, their schools, etc. 
There are so many stories, we're not going to be able to cover them all, but we will certainly do our best to highlight some of the best ones out there. Again, use the hashtag YD3. You can also email me at dave.mchugh at d3sports.com.